My name is Vito Scaletta. I was born in Sicily in 1925. That little guy's me. I'm standing there with my parents and my sister Francesca in front of our old house. I don't really remember too much about the old country, except that we were pretty hard up. And then one day my father decided it was time to move away. Away from Sicily, across the ocean, to start a new life in America. Never in my life had I seen anything as fantastic as Empire Bay. It was beautiful. On the other hand, I'd never seen anything filthier, more disgusting than our new shithole of an apartment. The American dream was more like a nightmare. My father started working at the port for the guy who arranged our immigration. It was backbreaking work, and what little money he made mostly went towards booze. Eventually, my parents sent me to school. I had to learn English. I sure as hell wasn't gonna do that in a neighborhood full of Italians. That's where I met Joe. Come on, we don't hurry it up. We ain't got all night. Over time, Joe and I got to be best friends. And since we were both poor and there wasn't much work around, oh shit, we started a little business of our own. Freeze! Police! Stop! Vito, this way! Throw me to bed! Stop! Oh, shoot! Shit. Okay, you bastard. Spread your legs. Fuck. Now put your hands on the fence. I'm sorry. Well, that one time it didn't work out so good. The year was 1943. America was at war. And the army was looking for guys who spoke the language to help with the invasion of Sicily. I was 18. And anything seemed better than jail. Who says you can't go home again? Operation Husky. I was assigned to the 504th Parachute Infantry. On the 11th of July, we were supposed to be dropped over the southern coast of Sicily. But we got hit by flak and had to bail out. Way behind enemy lines. Only three of us made it. If it wasn't for the local resistance, we wouldn't have had a chance. So when Mussolini soldiers came into the town and started rounding everybody up, we decided to return the fair. Se nessuno parla, quest'uomo morirà. All right, Scaletta. Allora, Take the shot. We gotta clear those balconies, men! Come on, fellas, fight like you're falling back! Let's move! On me! Shit! I'm down! Corporal, that guy saying his more troops headed this way. All right, you and Williams take out that MG, then find the prisoners. We're gonna need every man we can get. They get through this way. Looks like we found them. You got a grenade? Watch it. Put a grenade through the window. Letter. You alive? 
Yeah, just about. Well, then get off your ass and let's move it. Grab all the ammo you can carry. This might be our last chance. Whoa. 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 On the stairs! A grease ball! Oh. Catch! Sei finito, idiota! Must have the prisoners upstairs! Clear the second floor! Got him! Arrenditi, o gli faccio saltare il cervello! Looks like we're going this way. Come on. Hey, that's it. What the hell is going on? I'm almost dead. How many of these fuckers are there? Who gives a fuck? This dude's shooting me. What the hell is going on? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Hey, bye bye me, asshole. Hey, stick your boots on your ass. Hey, stick your boots on your ass. amico di stare attento fregatene di fare attenzione fai ciò che ti è stato detto Un congè quando siamo arretati come cucini. Ma chi è quello? Lo conoscete? Eh, lo conoscono tutti. Don Calò è un uomo d'onore. È lo stupido trucco degli americani, non ditemi che gli credete. No, è davvero Don Calò. Ogni tanto dovessi ascoltare i consigli di noiacci del posto. Ce ne andiamo. Sapete che potete fedarvi di me. Che ne dite, eh? Don Calò, the head of the Sicilian mob. An entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Why? Because he told them to. <laughs> 